it's Amanda, and we are here to pick Day 15's ink. I'm super excited about this. Um, we also have some things to talk about, so um, this video may be a little longer than usual. Maybe not, I don't know. But um, I have some stuff that I wanted to include in the last video that didn't make it because I don't know how to adjust the camera. So I'm going to do that in this video, but I'm going to timestamp below so if you don't want to see it, you can skip to where you wanted to go. So I'm going to shuffle the box and then we're going to go ahead and pick the ink and then do all the stuff we always do, plus a few extra things. So anyway, I'm going to mix it up. And I have to mix it up because I saw some things that were in here and I don't want to cheat. <laughs> I mean, it's my stupid game with my stupid rules, but that's, that's how it is. Anyway, I'm actually looking at Patches who came out of hiding. He's been in hiding for like the last, like well, all day today. So he came out of hiding. Hi buddy, hi. So anyway, okay, so I am looking away and we're closing our eyes. Oh, he's gonna get something. Is he gonna get something? Oh, yes he is. Okay, so I'm gonna look away and I'm gonna grab something in this box. And this is what we have. I see if it's in the frame. I don't, can't see what it is. Spinning it around. So hopefully you can see it. And um, I'm going to move the thing and adjust the camera. And yes. Okay, so hopefully I have adjusted the camera appropriately this time instead of over adjusting it. Um, yesterday's ink was this lovely pink from our friend Creepy Nibs. And um, it was Pen BBS Rose Powder. And I use it in my Pelican. Um, M205, which is the extra thing that I want to talk about later. So I'm going to do this video and then kind of tack this on at the end. So if you want to um, not watch it, you don't have to. So um, yeah, so um, it's this lovely pink color. This is actually like the color that the ink is, um, but I had some issues. <laughs> And I think that I had ink left in this pen somewhere, even though I had cleaned it out like the day before, it was all dry, it was all ready to go. Um, as it sat, because I did this yesterday after work, as it sat overnight, or actually even like kind of like right here, the color started to change and I think it mixed with some remnants of, I had like, what buddy? I had a Pelican um, Edelstein Aventurine. <laughs> In, um, in this pen and I think there might have been some remnants of it in here so I think that all kind of like mixed together with me doing the extra splats and um, created like a whole brand new color. Actually let me grab my little Hobonichi. Um, for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram this is my Instagram post and you can see that it, it's a lighter pink color up here but as it goes on it becomes this like my hands all pink <laughs> for reasons um it became like this like weird like mauve color sort of um it's really pretty and i love it but i was like thinking like this isn't as pink as i remember it being like on the little notebook or even on this like piece of paper uh, piece of paper towel so i um did some splatting for those of you who are here for the splat, I did some splatting and was like, this color is not at all like rose pale, or I mean rose powder. And this, these like black bits are in, it's like it leaked through the page because I added so much ink and like soaked some through. So um, I freaking love this color and I hope that an ink out here exists like this color. Um, but yeah, so this is the accurate color of what it should be. I love both shades, <laughs> so um, this is a win either way. Um, but because I splatted the ink out in here, I had to refill the pen, and now it's writing more correctly. And I am pleased. I mean, I like both colors, but I want to write with the right color. So anyway, so once again, thank you Creepy Nibs for this lovely sample of ink, and um, we are going to retire that away now because it is time for day 15. So let's see what we have here. We have Robert Oster Tokyo Blue Denim. And I still wanna write with my journal pen. So I'm gonna fill my Creepy Nibs pen with blue ink. <laughs> Which cracks me up probably way more than anybody else. I, yeah, anyway, so that, that's just, that's what we're gonna do. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up. And I got this sample from um, Van S Pens, so. You should go see them if you need a sample. 
and this pen will actually come into play later um, because I'm going to use it for what I need to show everybody. Again, I don't care if it's a full fill because I'm going to probably clean it out later. And by later, I mean like in May. <laughs> and um, yeah. Boop, boop. So we're not using a pen friend ink, but we're using a pen friend pen. It's pen friend love all around here. And I have it on good authority that I am getting a package very soon. So we may have some more pen friend ink to throw in the box and add to it. Wouldn't that be exciting? Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Ignore my pink hand. April, still April. Oops. April, May 20, day 15. I haven't been doing these. Um, yes, and the ink we have. This ink color, I believe, is from the um, Tokyo Pen Show. I should have closed the pen. I should have just like done the splat. That's fine. The pen is a wing song. 3003 and an EF, I think, right? Yes. And prior to 30 inks, 30 days, I used this for um, all my journaling purposes because it's because my, my journal is a cafe note notebook and it fits in the grid really nicely. So that's why I did that, so. This ink has some like cool shading and stuff. I like it. I'm a fan, even in this like extra fine nib, okay? So the splats come up better when I stand up. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna hope that I make the page. As always, my goal is to make the page and not the words, but we'll see. Oh, I didn't even make the page, okay. There we go, that's better. Apparently it is my goal in life to clean this table every day. <laughs> okay, let me clean this up right now before I make a giant mess. That splat looks like it's gonna show a lot of the shading and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Yay, ink splats! Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this little bit here. This is a really nice blue. I feel like it's kind of dry. I mean, it doesn't look dry right now, but oops, oh, oh, hey, oh. Um, yeah, but. Do, 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 write my name, because why not? Yes, yay! All right, so here is day 15's ink, blue. I'm still looking for a red or a brown or even a gray at this point. We haven't had a gray yet. Um, okay, so if you um, don't wanna see what I wanted to show you, I wanted to compare the Pelican M205. I meant to do that in the last video. Okay, just making sure I'm still in frame. I meant to do that in the last video and actually um, I did do it, but I cut it out because um, because I um, like over adjusted the camera and did not even have any of the stuff in frame. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of do that here for anybody who is interested, specifically for the people that were on the Creepy Nibs live stream. Um, 
So if you um, don't want to see that, um, feel free to click off. It was great having you. Like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think about this ink. Um, yeah, I look forward to hearing from you. And if you do, if you are interested or curious, um, then I do have these pens that I wanna show you. So this is the Pelican M205. It's the amethyst color. It's the ink, it was the ink slash pen of the year for um, 2015. I looked it up after the last video. And I just wanted to compare it to some other pens that you might be familiar with just like size wise, cause I was actually surprised at how small it was when I grabbed it out of the drawer. So this is the Wingsong 3003 that I'll be writing with. And this is a Pilot Prera that I started the day with or the, the month with. This is a Twisby Eco. Sorry, you can't get this color anymore, I don't think. Um, this is a Twisby Diamond 580 my rose gold one that I am dying to write with. If I pick my um, bottled ink vial, it's already filled with Twisby Black and that's what I'm choosing. Um, here's a Caveco Sport. Obviously it's much smaller. I'm gonna move these. Um, obviously much, much smaller because that's a pocket pen. Um, here it is next to some other Pelicans. This is a Pelican um, M600. And a Pelican M805. I swear to God, I'm not trying to flex with these pens. I just have them because of tax returns and things. And this is a, a Pilot Vanishing Point. So there's some comparisons just in case you're curious about the size. Um, obviously, like here it is in my hand for writing. I have, you know, pretty small hands, but um, yeah, you can not post it. I'm perfectly capable of writing with this not posted. Um, it is very light. I don't have a scale nearby to weigh it, but it is a very light pen. And I remember when I, when I got it, I was like, holy cow, that's so light. Cause I think I'd had, I mean, not this one, but it had a 600 already at that point. I was like, oh, let me try some other sizes. And this is, it's not heavy, but it weighs, it has more weight to it than this one does. And then this is just like, this is, almost too heavy for me. So I think if one an M1000 or an M1005 would just be like completely over the top. Like it's even kind of too big for me. I love writing with this pen, but um, yeah, the as far as Pelicans are concerned, of the ones that I've tried, the 600 slash 605 is my perfect size. I've not tried the 400 or the 405, um, so I don't have any experience with that, but um, that's what we have here, so. Thanks for coming to my little, oh, here's it also, if I, I don't remember if I put this in already, this is next to a Pilot G2, since these are like readily available and everybody kind of knows what that pen is. Um, it's the navy color, not it's not black or blue, it's navy. Um, I purposely buy these myself and take them to work, so um, I have a pen that I like because I prefer like blue-black inks in most things, so that's my favorite like not fountain pen. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's just a comparison. I thought um, those of you that were on the live stream that were, might be interested and maybe um, somebody else is interested, so I just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. If you stuck around for this extra little bit, thank you for doing so. Um, here is what we are using tomorrow slash today, April 15th. And um, yeah, I look forward to coming to you, coming back to you tomorrow with another ink and I will see you soon. Take care.